Hey guys, Big Mac here. I am back with another video. This video is actually how to get more FPS in games like Daisy Standalone, Arma 3, and Arma 2, all in multiplayer. A lot of them are showing you how to get more FPS in single player, but most of these games are multiplayer based games, and there's lots of servers, and it's more fun. So, a lot of people don't have a very good enough PC to run this, or if they do, it's very, like, bad, because these games aren't optimized very well, and, uh, they're very hardware intensive, so I'm gonna show you how to get some better FPS in them. What you wanna do first is, um, click on the little Windows icon, I just drag that over there, click on the little Windows icon, and go to Documents. Once you're in Documents, um, it will come up with this page, and you'll want to click on Arma 3, and then to the right there will be Arma3.cfg. You're going to want to right click on it and click Open with um, Notepad, but I'm going to open with Notepad++. Notepad++. And, um, it will be right here. So it will come up like this, and then you'll just scroll down a little bit, and then um, if you have it, it's going to be at page at line 25. It will be GPU max frames ahead. This will be at 1000, but you'll just go on to delete zeros, so it's at 1. And then below that, um, GPU detected frames ahead, you want to put that at 0. Um, and then save that. And then that should be getting you some more FPS in Arma 3 multiplayer. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna wanna do this in Daisy Standalone, go back to Documents, click on Daisy, Daisy.cfg, and open it the exact same way. And max frames ahead, put them down to one, and save that. And then put this to zero, and save that. Um, also, to do it with Arma 2 is slightly different. You're going to want to click on the Arma 2 folder, and you're going to want to do that with the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead one, and the normal Arma 2. So, open with Notepad++, and then Detected Frames and Max Frames Ahead, and then same thing for, um... Arma 2. So once you've done this, it should give you like a 20 to 30 frame boost, which is really good. Um, it helps me a lot in multiplayer. Even though I have a PC that can run it pretty good, it lags out a lot on games like Arma 3 Life and other big mods like that, or Breaking Point, Battle Royale. So, most likely the popular ones. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the difference between when I do it. Okay, so this is without the modification to the files. And normally when you start to get going fast, it lags like crazy. Even if you do have a good computer. Um... It says I'm getting like 40 frames right now, but I don't think that is correct. Because it feels like I'm getting 20. Um, so yeah, be right back with the modified file. Okay, I'm back. Um, I changed it and it feels like I'm getting slightly higher frames. But you, I can tell how much smoother it is on here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but um, yeah, I just feel like I'm getting much smoother frames. Yeah. So I hope this um helped you guys. Um, if you didn't understand something, just ask me in the comments. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.